All right, what we're doing here today, folks, is we're going to show some of the common water snakes and some of the cotton mouse that we have here in Oklahoma, show you some of the differences. And what we've got right here is what they call the plain-bellied water snake. As you see, its belly is completely plain, and the cotton mouse has a, has a checkered pattern on it and real colorful. And you can see he has no facial pits which the cottonmouth will, but he does have the diamond-shaped pattern head, which it's more pointed on these than the others, than the cottonmouth, but um, he also, what I always notice is these little yellows and the striping right around their face here, and, and, the, and the other one will not, the cottonmouth will not have that. And there's that, there's that beautiful belly marking. See, we don't have that, the plain belly. But look at this, and, the, and look at this head. It's got more of a round nose, okay? He's, 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 he can hunt day or night, and, and, and it's just like our eye. The pupil opens and closes to, to collect the light. And, and those guys have a vertical slit. And that's something that's, because uh, they're mainly a night hunter. They just lay around like a log during the day, and they come real active in the nighttime. But a lot of the snakes do. You know? But there, there's two of them side by side, almost the same age, and they're they're acting they're acting pretty good. It's you can tell they have been around each other these species for these two types because they're they're not either one wanting to eat each other. They both basically eat the compete for the same kind of food. There's you a drink. There's your moccasin on the rocks. This is another cottonmouth, you guys, and he has the beautiful pattern, which we don't find a lot. And uh, let's just uh, do this. Let's do this. Okay, now, this is exact same snake, but he's wet, so there's your brilliance. And man, he has got the beautiful pattern. When we get him, there's the old cotton. The reason they have the name the cotton mouth water moccasin is because it's just cotton white in there. And uh, he does not like it. Oh, he does not like that. Look at the tail. There's that beating of the tail again. And see how it goes down? Stumpy. Look at those bands coming down the back and the and the bars, Whoosh. man. What we have here is three versions of the Oklahoma cottonmouth water moccasin. We have the little baby neonate here with the fluorescent tail that resembles all our copperheads we have. When he is born, he is ready to wiggle that tail in a luring, seductive way and a little insect, just imagine a cricket or a grasshopper coming up there and poop. This is a fully mature adult, probably three years old, ready to have birth, to give out 16 to 20 of those little neonates. And this is kind of rare to get this good color pattern. I've only seen a few of those that have that beautiful color pattern. And, and then another the thing to always remember is when these things are wet, the color pattern will, will come out even greater. You know, but more of a rounded nose than the, you know, more of an arrowhead shape than the water snakes. Look, look, under these little sheaths, there's the tip of a fang. Those are just little like knife sheaths and there's little bitty ones sitting in rows, they shed those. This is the glottis right here. That's where the forked tongue is slid into. So when he's swallowing something that cuts off all the throat air passage, this can move from side to side and he can get air. You know, they're just amazing. You can see the pits. You can see there's the nostril and there's the pit. Same thing, nostrils are always up on the tip and then the pit and then the eye. And we're getting all that two colored tongue that tongue, see it come out there when he closed, uh, that tongue is also luring like the tail when he was a baby. But man, he, he, this, this snake is just, he's really performing here. He's just being, there's that flattened out tail. Then it goes to that point. 
like you won't see on them. And see, right now, the whole rib spinal column and all the ribs are flattened out one by one down each side. So he gets as much room to spring up like a big old rocket spring. And if that camera was to mash on him or get even closer, he would probably nail it.